Fixed assets classes and subclasses drive the reporting and grouping of your assets and by linking into the posting groups give you the links back to your general ledger. So if we go back to our chart of accounts for a moment and into our fixed assets section you can see we've got split out by furniture and fixtures, computer equipment, machinery and equipment, fleet vehicles. This often reflects what your fixed asset classes are going to be. So let's bring up our fixed asset classes. And this is simply a listing of uh, what you want those classes to be. When you set up a new asset, you're going to add this class to an asset. That can be used for reporting so that you can group those assets together on all your reports, making it easy to balance between fixed assets and your general ledger. You can split your classes out wider than what you are tracking it at a GL level. So machinery and equipment, you might actually split out into, um, um, into movable plant and fixed plant or things like that. So you can break out these categories as much as you like. That enables you to have separated fixed asset reporting to general ledger reporting. Your general ledger is going to accrue at a level that people interested in the finances want to see. Fixed asset subclasses is where we link all the information together. In fixed asset subclasses, you're going to code them appropriately and link them to both the class code and the fixed asset posting group. So you want this code to be meaningful so that when users are selecting that on the assets, they understand what it means. So in this case, I've said machinery and equipment 100, meaning that in my underlying um, posting group, I'm posting my depreciation or the expenses to that department. Now, you might even not necessarily name it that way because you're posting that to a different department it might also just be like an ownership of the asset but they're not getting any expenses so you structure this in a way that's going to work for um, reporting for the client creating the classes and subclasses for your fixed assets is the final piece you need before starting to log your assets in the system 